What's up everybody? The Bearded Prepper coming back to you. I have something to share with you today. Actually, a couple of things to share with you today about water filtration and water purification. Um, those of you that have been following along, along for quite some time, remember that I took these buckets and uh, made a homemade Berkey type filter. I put the charcoal filter inside one of the off brand comes out the bottom and then that fits right into this bucket through the lid with a little dispenser so we've got a five gallon water reservoir so that i could pour water into the top bucket seat it onto the top bu bottom bucket let it filter through and uh, have five gallons of clean water you know countertop or however you want to do it so there was a question came up last time about Lowe's buckets. Everyone knows that tractor supply buckets say food grade, right? So there was some question about Lowe's buckets. I've done some research for everyone on that, and um, I have some information to share with you. It is food safe, but um, a lot of ways to tell is this little triangle right here. It'll have a number in it. This one has a number two. Um, there are multiple numbers that are safe for food grade. I'll let you do your own research on that. But number two is known to be one of the longest lasting. And, um, you know, one of the plastics that breaks down the, the slowest. So it'll last longer. Um, things shouldn't leach into your, into your food um, or into your water in this case. You know, things of that nature. Now, with that said, if you've ever stored chemicals of any kind in this or paint or anything like that, don't use it. Get clean, fresh buckets that have been used for nothing, uh, preferably new, or used for nothing but water. So um, that's an option for you. You know, go back and look at that video. You can see how to make your own water filtration system out of five gallon buckets. Grid down, you fill up a five gallon container, let it gravity feed, and you'll have five gallons of clean filtered water. You know, if you, if you follow that process, um, and you don't really have to filter, you know, your cooking water if you're going to boil it um, or get it up to certain temperatures to kill anything in it. So you you don't have to use filtered water for that. As long as you get the particulates out, you can do that with a lot of different options, you know, screening through material, cloth, t-shirts, whatever. Um, and then save your clean drinking water for drinking, right? For consumption without boiling. But I want to show you something a little different today. Just set this aside for a minute. If you haven't heard of it, there's a new thing on the market, a fairly new thing, called a Maddie Drop. This is the wrapper. Um, you can see the little symbol there. I've already opened it, but it says Maddie Drop on it, right? M-A-D-I-D-R-O-P. I got this one um, from East Coast Preppers or East Coast East Coast Food Supply in Troy, Virginia. If you live in uh, or near Central Virginia, I will tell you the folks at East Coast, East Coast Preppers or East Coast Food Supply, they'll treat you right. They're a wealth of knowledge. If you're new to the prepping world, or even if you're not new to the prepping world, um, it's good to network. It's good. You can always get new information, right? Or you can get refresher information. They offer free courses at times. Go online, East Coast Preppers, East Coast Food Supply. Check out their calendar of events. They spring, bring speakers in. They do uh, seminars on the weekends. They'll give you smaller group tours and um, encounters. You can also, um, when you're there for their seminars, sample some of their freeze-dried products. And they'll talk to you about how to reconstitute freeze-dried foods and things of that nature. And they've got a warehouse full of prepper supplies, full of uh, food. I mean, talking about Industrial shelves, floor to ceiling, stocked full of long-term shelf-stable food and also supplies, things of that nature. If you can imagine it for prepping, they probably either have it there or they can help you get it. So uh, check them out. East Coast Foods or East Coast Prepper Supplies. You won't be disappointed. Anyway, so you can get your Matty Drop through them as well. Let me just unwrap it. I'm going to show it to you. It comes with instructions. You know, for those of us that 
I'll be honest with you. I don't think I've ever finished a set of instructions. Ever. Pretty sure. Anyway, for those of us, you got pictures, right? But you also, for those detail-oriented preppers, you've got the words. So, basically, set this up over here. This is a 100% natural clay ceramic tile. And it is infused with pure silver. So you've got this porous material with little um, clusters of silver inside of it, pure silver. And for those of you that aren't aware, silver, pure silver, is antibacterial. It's antiviral. As a matter of fact, in ages past, when people actually knew how to survive without having to watch videos like this or read books or, or relearn it, they would put a silver coin in their drinking water because they found out along the generations that silver will purify contaminated water. So, Maddie Drop, through East Coast Preppers, came up with the same solution, only in a different form. It's a porous material, ceramic, clay turned to ceramic, with silver infused. You can put this inside of 10 to 20 liters. And in case you don't know, a five gallon bucket, I think is 18.75, 18 point something liters. So put this in the bucket, let it sit overnight for, you know, 10 hours. And you should have, there it is. You should, you no know, need to do anything with it. You just put it in there and let it soak. And then you should have five gallons of purified drinking water within 10 hours. So, I mean, it is ceramics. So you have to treat it with some care. This can last, um, I think they said for up to a year that you could reuse this. So imagine for up for your first year, we talk about, yeah, it works continually for 12 months. It says it right there, 12 months. So we talk continuously about getting prepared. Where should I start? And we always tell everyone, you know, if you're just starting, just try to focus on the four important things, right? You got to have food, water, shelter, and security, right? Focus on those things. And initially just focus on I don't know if you're really stressed out, start on a month, but I always tell everyone, try to get to six months as soon as you can of preps, you know, the basics just to get by. Um, and then move out to a, at least a year, you know, have on hand enough food, enough supplies to get you through that first year. Cause that's when everybody else is going to die. If the grid's down, I know that's a, a kind of a Debbie downer and a happy subject like water purification. But if our grid goes down and we're just in survival mode again, EMP, cyber attack, whatever, you know, or just not being able to assimilate in society because they've gone even more bonkers than they already are, have a year's worth on hand. Because in a grid down, in the first year, there's going to be a massive die-off. Many people are going to kill each other or not know how to survive. So get through that first year, right? Have a way to have pure water. I've already shown you the, you can use Amazon. Make sure you do your research and get a good filter. They're always changing. Or you can look at the Matty Drop as a backup. I've got this as my backup now. Um, to purify five gallons of water every day for um, a year. You know, I could even uh, say I'm going to purify in this bucket, you know, for 10 hours. And then I'm going to put it in another dispenser in this bucket when it's clean. And then guess what I can do? Two buckets in a day. Every 20 hours. When I get up in the morning, I fill up a bucket. When I go to bed at night, I fill up a bucket with more clean water and refill the one that has the Matty Drop in it. So there's ways to get around that. You know, if you're in a group um, situation where you're trying to survive, you can always, um, you know, look at options like using a Matty Drop as a backup. You can boil water, you can filter water, you can have the Matty Drop. Um, so, you know, the more you can expand your preps, the better you are. And I'm not sure what you can get this for, but it's less than $30. So, you know, you can pick up a couple of them if you have the money. Pick up one if you do. And I'll tell you what I'm going to do with it. Um, I'm going to put it back in the instructions for right now. And I'm going to put it in a nice plastic bag to keep it clean until I can try it out. And, um, you know, it's not supposed to change the flavor. It's not supposed to um, let you get sick which is important in water purification. So if you find a good spring, a good creek that you can get good water out of, 
that's a good option for you. Um, otherwise, you know, I've got plenty of videos out there on water purification. I encourage you to go back and look at it. It may have been a couple of years ago, but you know, these are little things you can do to be prepared. If you're living in the city and you're concerned about drinking water because most of the populated areas in this country are on public water and you don't have access to a well. So what are you going to do if the grid goes down or worse, a cyber attack happens? And by the way, most of the attempted cyber attacks have been on public utilities. Um, not just, um, not just, you know, trying to put too much chemical in if it's an automated system or anything like that, but just shutting them down. I mean, if you don't have access to water, you're not going to last many days. So make sure you're prepared. I would make sure that, um, you know, water, a, a backup water source is one of my top priorities. I mean, it's right up there with shelter, right? Depending on their situation, shelter and safety are going to be important, right? Especially in a populated area but you're not going to make it more than a few days without water. So water's pretty important. I would probably make sure I had that secured first, mostly because it's so easy to do. I mean, even if you just do a, a filtration system with the buckets and the filter like this, you know, you don't even have to buy the spigot, even though that was only just a few dollars, but just the filtration system like this, right? Put it back together, protect it, stick it somewhere to keep it clean out in a closet or, or whatever so that you have it and then for what probably 30 bucks or less with that you're done um 30 bucks ish you know maybe 35 bucks with the matty drop and a bucket um something some way to purify water and um you know if you're counting on your electric stove that's not going to help you purify water or even cook um, if you're counting on your gas stove and your own public utilities or if you're on a tank at home and have a finite amount of gas that's only gonna get you so far um, so have a backup plan for water in place make sure you have enough food to get by for a while without having to leave your residence make sure that you have shelter to stay out of the elements and really depending on where you live if you're in a populated area to shield yourself and protect yourself from other people um, and then, of course, think about security. How are you going to protect yourself and your shelter and your food and your water and your family? How are you going to protect all of that from those that think they can come and take it from you when this kind of situation gets worse? Um, don't believe me? Look at what happened back in Katrina. Go read the stories then. First 72 hours, everybody was in shock and they were so busy looting that they weren't as uh, concerned about other people. After that first 72 hours, it got ugly, folks. They had to send in armed National Guard and law enforcement to fight these gangs back, these roving people that were trying to set up anarchy and take over. Anyway, enough doom and gloom. You've got some options here. I've given you some options for water filtration. Use a two bucket system, set up your own homemade Berkey style water fit system. Get yourself a Matty Drop and a five gallon bucket or a reservoir that you can use that is decent size, 10 to 20 liters. No more than 20 liters with this, unless you're going to plan to purchase multiple and put them in there. I don't know, that may even be extended time, but I just recommend five gallon buckets. You know what I used to do? I don't do it any longer um, since I have some space and climate control to store my emergency food, but I used to fill these buckets up with food and put a lid on them. And that was my storage system until it got out of control. And I had this area in my residence that was just stacked full of buckets with all the food in it. Um, but you can do that. You know what, start putting your emergency food in the bucket, get your water um, purification process and have it with the bucket, have a way to set it up quickly and filter your water. And that way you've got two in one. Plus I always tell everyone, I, I like to keep, um, if I can't keep a go bucket, right? With some food, with a water purification system in it, with things like that. Um, that's really a good option. And you can take a bucket, a five gallon bucket and put it in your vehicle, set it up, even if it's within sight. How many crooks come looking to steal a five gallon bucket out of a car? Not many. So there you have it. 
you've got the Matty Drop, you've got your update on uh, food grade buckets, if you will. Make sure that you do your research, that you have a, a plastic bucket out of material that is food safe. You don't want things leaching into your um, system or into your food or into your water, things of that nature unnecessarily. Um, be prepared. Do something. Seek the wisdom of our Lord and Savior. Until next time, God bless. I'm the Bearded Prepper, signing off.